Thanks for checking out this video. Let's talk about what is coming to Shudder in July. And this is one of those months that I'm excited about, but also not excited about because I'm excited because there's a lot of stuff I want to watch. I'm not excited because this is just going to add to my list of films I need to watch. Um, so you'll see what I mean when I go through this. Now, I'm going to start with the Shudder exclusives and originals. For all of these each month, I have no spoiler reviews that go up days before, usually about three or four days before they actually drop on Shudder, so you can check out those reviews on this channel. Normally, they're putting them out on Thursdays, but over the past few months, they started putting some out on Tuesdays as well. So normally on a Monday, I'm putting out the review video for the one coming out on Thursday, but if it's a Tuesday, I'm usually putting it out on like a Friday of the previous week. Just so you know. Anyway, the first film that is a Shutter original is Sun, and that's coming July 8th. Now, this one's available for everyone, and that includes the U.S., Canada, U.K., Australia, and New Zealand. In Sun, after a mysterious group breaks into Laura's home and attempts to abduct her 8-year-old son, David, the two of them flee town in search of safety. But soon after the failed kidnapping, David becomes extremely ill, suffering from increasing psychosis and convulsions. Following her maternal instincts, Laura commits unspeakable acts to keep him alive, but soon she must decide how far she is willing to go to save her son. Sounds interesting enough. Like I said, I'll have a review for that one. I'll have a review for all these four that I'm doing right here. The next one is a Shutter exclusive coming July 15th. It is called The Call. Now, this one is available just for the U.S. and Canada, so sorry everyone else. Four friends, one phone call, 60 seconds to stay alive. In the fall of 1987, a group of small-town friends must survive the night in the home of a sinister couple after a tragic accident. Needing only to make a single phone call, the request seems ordinary until they realize that this call could change their life or end it. This simple task quickly spirals into terror as their worst nightmares become reality. Interesting-ish concept, I guess. Then we have Shutter Original Film premiering July 22nd called Candisha, and this is available for everyone. So, awesome. It is summer break, and best friends Amelie, Bintu, and Morjana uh, hang together with other neighborhood teens. Nightly, they have fun sh sharing scary stories and urban legends. But when Amelie is assaulted by her ex, she remembers the story of Candisha, a powerful and vengeful demon. Afraid and upset, Amelie summons her. The next day, her ex is found dead. The legend is true, and now Candisha is on a killing spree, and it's up to the three girls to break the curse. The curse that they started. Okay. Eh, I'm not big into, like, demons, ghosts, but I'll have a review and I'll be fair about it. Then the last one that is a Shutter original for July is The Boy Behind the Door that is coming July 29th, and that is also available for everyone. So awesome. The Boy Behind the Door, a night of imaginable ter unimaginable terror. <laughs> imaginable terror. <laughs> it's all imaginable. Uh, a night of unimaginable terror awaits 12-year-old Bobby and his best friend Kevin when they are abducted on their way home from school, managing to escape his conf uh, confines, Bobby navigates the dark halls, praying his presence goes unnoticed as he avoids his captor at every turn. Even worse is the arrival of another stranger whose mysterious arrangement with the kidnapper may spell certain doom for Kevin. With no means of calling for help and miles of dark country in every direction, Bobby embarks on a rescue mission determined to get himself and Kevin out alive or die trying. This one had a trailer uh, between the Joe Bob episodes of the final episode of The Last Drive-In, so people probably are familiar with that one like me. Okay, now moving to the films coming July 1st. So it is six films, and unfortunately these are only going to be available in the United States, so everything dropping July 1st is only available for the United States Shutter. Sorry everyone. Uh, Manhunter, which is a film I've been meaning to watch. This is the one that started it all for the uh, Sounds of the Lamb stuff. Former FBI profiler William Graham returns to service to pursue a deranged serial killer dubbed the Tooth Fairy by the media. These are all really short synopses for the movies, for the most part. The next one is another one that's been on my list to see, and people tell me it's like the best vampire film ever made. Let me know in the comments if you feel the same way. Near Dark. 
Uh, a small town farmer's son reluctantly joins a traveling group of vampires after he is bitten by a beautiful drifter. And the next one is another film that is on my list and I've been meaning to get to, which is Burnt Offerings. A family moves into a large old mansion in the countryside, which seems to have a mysterious and sinister power over its new residents. Gotta watch that one too. Then the next one is another one that's been on my list to watch. And people are going to be like, oh my god, I can't believe you haven't seen this. Especially when you see some of the other reviews on my channel. The 1982 Creep Show. Uh, the movie, yes. An anthology which tells five terrifying tales inspired by the EC horror comic books of the 1950s. Yes, I know. It's been a long time. It's been on my list forever. Now I'll get to it, since it's going to be on Shudder. And one I was hoping that Shudder would get, because they got the original version. Now they're getting the remake, the 2001 13 Ghosts, which I love. I mean, I love anything Matthew Lillard, pretty much. That's a weird confession, but yes, I love Matthew Lillard. When Cyrus Criticos, such a weird name, a very rich collector of unique things, dies. He leaves house and furniture and fortune to his nephew and his family. While they're inside, they find they are not alone. It's a fun film. I mean, it gets panned a lot as being, like, not that good, but the, the, the ghosts themselves, the design of them, that is the best part. It is kind of a slow film, but I'm going to rewatch this and I'm going to do a review for it. It's fun. And I plan on owning that on Blu-ray one day. Okay. So next, uh, coming July. Actually, a lot of these films are only for the U.S. I'm sorry, people. July 6th. Uh, the next three films are coming July 6th, and they were all are all just for the U.S. The Little Girl Who Lives Down the Lane. 13-year-old... Rin Jacobs lives alone in a high-class Quebec small town, but unknown to the neighbors, she is leading a secret and dangerous life when introduced to Frank Hallett. Okay, very vague. Now, the next one is another film that's been on my list of films to watch, and that is Terror Train. Three years after a prank went terribly wrong, the six college students responsible are targeted by a mass killer at a New Year's Eve party aboard a moving train. Heard really good things about it. And also, there's going to be a item from Fright Crate, for anyone who gets Fright Crate or wants to get Fright Crate, uh, for their June box. Actually, that one's already been sold, but there will be a Terror Train item in the June box, so very timely. Then, the last one coming on uh, July 6th, Death Ship. A mysterious, ghostly freighter rams and sinks a modern-day cruise ship whose survivors climb aboard the freighter and discover that it is a World War II Nazi torture vessel. Yes. Okay, then next, for July 7th, the next four films are coming July 7th, and once again, they are all just for the United States. I don't know if these are marked incorrectly or what, but they're all just coming in the United States, it says. Pledge Night, a college fraternity in the middle of hazing their new pledges during Hell Week, incur the wrath of a long-deceased pledge who died during a hazing gone wrong 20 years ago. That sounds like a trauma film. I don't know if it is or not, but that sounds like a trauma film. Also coming on the 7th, Sorority House Massacre. That one's been on my list, although it's way further down on my list to watch. College student Beth and her sorority sisters are stalked by an escaped psychopathic killer who shares a strange telepathic link with her. Then, Day of the Dead. Yes, Day of the Dead. I have a review for that on my channel already. As the world is overrun by zombies, a small group of scientists and military personnel dwelling in an underground bunker in Florida must determine whether they should educate, eliminate, or escape the undead horde. Great film if you haven't seen it. I'm sure most of you have. Then the last film coming on July 7th, Horsehead, all one word. Since childhood, childhood Jessica has been haunted by by reoccurring nightmares that she doesn't understand, and they worsened after going to her grandmother's funeral. After returning to her family home and becoming ill, she sees her dead grandmother in a nightmare. She explores her nightmares through lucid dreaming to investigate the mystery that haunts her family home. That doesn't really sound interesting to me, not really my thing, but let me know. Have you seen it, and should I see it? Put it in the comments. Uh, coming July 12th are the next four films, which are all saying... Only in the United States. I don't get it. Messiah of Evil. A young woman goes searching for her missing artist father. Her journey takes her to a strange Californian seaside town governed by a mysterious undead cult. 
dude, not only does that sound interesting, but I have a thing about horror films done in, like, seaside towns, so I kind of have to watch this. It, I know it's a weird thing, like, Humanoids from the Deep, Dead and Buried, The Fog, stuff like that. The Goonies, Goonies another one. Uh, carnival of Souls. After a traumatic accident, a woman becomes drawn to a mysterious abandoned carnival. Um, that one, if you haven't seen it, you should definitely see that. It's kind of like horror history. I saw it in the theater uh, with Rift Tracks, actually, which was a lot of fun. I saw it prior to that, though. Now, the next one, I have a review for it on my channel, and if you haven't seen it, you definitely should. Joe Dante's 1978 film Piranha. It's a lot of fun. Uh, when flesh-eating piranhas are accidentally released into a summer resort's rivers, the guests become their next meal. Trust me, piranha's fun. And the last one coming July 12th is Straight Edge Kegger. <laughs> this sounds like a good horror comedy. A young punk and a house full of drunks square off against the gang militant straight edgers that he's abandoned. Yeah, sounds fun. Fun enough. Is every single film... I think every single film is just in the U.S. for some reason. Sorry, everyone. Everyone outside the U.S., sorry. July 13th. The next two films are coming July 13th. White Girl. Beth, a 15-year-old white girl, is seemingly lost. Over the course of an evening on the streets of East London, her interactions with the city's dwellers take darker turns. But who is the real monster? Yeah, that sounds interesting. And Separation. A young girl finds solace in her artist father and the ghost of her dead mother. Okay. One film coming July 16th, and that is Everly. An action thriller centered on a kidnapped woman who faces down hitmen sent by a mob, uh, mob boss slash her captor while trying to protect her family from his wrath. Hmm. Doesn't sound that interesting to me. All right. The next three films are coming July 19th. And also, I'm, I'm just going to say everyone is... Every one of these films is just the United States, unless I say otherwise. July 19th, the first one. She's allergic to cats. A lonely dog groomer searches for love, but his true passion is making weird video art that nobody understands. That, that does nothing to entice me to watch that film. It just sounds weird. Here Comes Hell. A 1930s dinner party descends into carnage, gore, and demonic possession in Here Comes Hell, a genre-clashing horror comedy. That sounds interesting. And Vigilante is the last one coming on July 19th. After his wife and son are brutalized by thugs and a corrupt criminal justice system puts the perpetrators back on the street, a New York City factory worker turns vigilant, Vigilante to find some measure of bloody justice. That sounds fun. Now, two films coming on July 20th. Mass Hysteria, a group of Salem witch trial reenactors find themselves at the center of a modern-day witch hunt. That sounds interesting. And Rot. I've heard about this one, Rot. Um, a grad student breaks up with her boyfriend to focus on her thesis, not realizing something has infected him and that he's going to wreak havoc on her life. I don't know. We'll see. Doesn't sound that interesting. Okay. Coming July 26th. Now, I think this is coming to everyone, but I'm not sure. The Etheria Film Festival Series. If you aren't familiar with it, I actually covered all of the short films for it last year because that's when it started on Shudder. It's really cool. It's a bunch of short films done by women directors, um, and they're, they're horror and or sci-fi, so kind of a few things. It was awesome last year. I assume it's going to be awesome this year. I have asked to be able to get screeners for all of them, so I might have reviews up ahead of time, just so you know. There would be no spoilers, obviously. Uh, the Etheria series is coming July 26th. From post-apocalyptic westerns to demented comedies to terrifying horror and gore, Etheria serves up the perfect blend of mind-bending and panic-inducing excitement from the best emerging women genre directors in the world. Each episode showcases a vision of the fantastic in this new anthology series created to introduce amazing directors to devoted genre fans. I definitely recommend it. Like I said, last year's was great. Then also coming on the 26th, the, uh, They Remain. Two scientists who share a romantic history are tasked with investigating unnatural animal behavior on the site of a Manson family-style cult's compound. That sounds really interesting. Might have to check that one out. And the last film coming July 26th, Dare Bunker. 
a young student seeks quiet quiet and solitude to focus on an important work on unimportant work grammar uh, but ends up as the teacher of a peculiar boy who is homeschooled by his parents in an isolated bunker mansion mm, i don't know about that and the final film is coming on july 27th i'm sorry no more films outside of just the united states that final film is adoration 12 year old paul meets a young teen patient gloria at the private psychiatric hospital hospital in the woods where his mother works and quickly becomes infatuated with her she convinces him to help her escape from the hospital but as they go on their journey gloria's dangerous unpredictability starts to show sounds kind of interesting so that is it as you can hear and as i pointed out i have a lot of films that have been on my list that are finally coming to shutter so i need to cross them off so hopefully you can look for my reviews on those films i called out sometime in july maybe in august just depends but let me know what you're most excited about is this a great month for you are you excited about what's coming to shutter yes no in between and let me know the films that you're excited to watch and also let me know the ones that you really think i should be watching so go ahead and put it down in the comments um also do me a quick favor hit that subscribe button if you can and you can because it literally takes you a second costs you nothing and it's totally painless and it helps encourage me to keep this going to do these types of videos which literally is just a public service for everyone out there it really does nothing for me personally but all my other videos which are you know the review videos which are a good creative outlet for me and unboxings and stuff like that uh also hit the notification bell button because then you'll know whenever i'm put putting those videos up. Uh, regardless, I appreciate you checking this video out and taking your time to do that. Until next time, keep it brutal.